so you know the Liberty School we started in in 2007 and, and we had been in a uh, in a church rectory in in the basement of a church and uh, then we were above Big Picture High School in an old district building uh, and during that time we spent a few months in an airplane hangar <laughs> out at Stonehenge uh, when there, there were some asbestos concerns downstairs. Wow. Uh, then we were sort of uh, we had to move out for for one year to uh, to Bodo Park where we moved into an office building um, for a year and uh, I'm happy to say we're, we're finally here and um, you know, Jane's. Uh, when we when we finally got the opportunity to, um, we were lucky enough to get donated this beautiful property. Yeah. Um, and it really accelerated sort of our our hopes and dreams for having our own permanent home one day. Mm -hmm. And so uh, suddenly we're we're looking for an architect and a, and a builder. And um, you know, Jane's really really stepped up and stepped up to the plate when we needed them. And uh, throughout the whole process, they were they were really. Um, easy to work with uh, the first thing that comes to mind is is just um, just how easy it was to, to work with um, you know everyone from the the business manager to the you know site supervisor uh, uh, the staff was always really uh, very friendly and approachable um, very professional and, and responsive good the first one that comes to mind is uh, we had broken ground. Well, breaking ground was definitely one. Uh, you know, it was it was a dream come true to really uh, get our own permanent home. Uh, yeah. As you can imagine, for for a school to be relocating and, and worrying about where they're going to be conducting school each year is really you know <laughs> uh, very stressful uh, and not not good for you know delivering our mission. So it was really important for us to to get a permanent home one day and. Um, for James to help us make that dream a reality, um, I, I can't overstate how important that has been for, for us at, at Liberty. Mm -hmm. um, so when the, the day came where we actually broke ground and I, and I saw machinery here uh, starting to dig up dirt, I mean, <laughs> that, that, was, that was an emotional day for me and, and for our board and for, for everyone involved uh, with Liberty School. So breaking ground was one. The groundbreaking ceremony, which... Um, you know, it took place a little bit after the actual groundbreaking started, but uh, seeing kids with shovels, uh -huh. board members who had been, um, you know, bending over backwards to try to raise funds with shovels, uh, staff who had been with us all along, you know, with shovels, it just, uh, <laughs> it, it became a reality and yeah. that was really special. Uh, the other uh, thing, you know, when building had sort of, it was probably, you know, a third of the way done, I'd say, uh, Jane's took our students and, and gave them a tour of of the construction site yeah. and that was really meaningful for you know for our students just to see the uh, the work in process in, in progress right. and uh, that was really cool and then the last one that really sticks out is is when um, the the site supervisor uh, finally uh, about eight months after finishing the project from start to finish it was eight months and he delivered the uh, certificate of occupancy and, and then it that finally felt <laughs> official. So those are the ones that really, really stick out. That's great. What would you say to them um, um, on our behalf? You know, I would say to any potential, um, you know, people that are considering Jane's for, for a project, uh, our experience from, from start to finish, um, you know, was professional. It was handled um, with care. Um, everyone we interacted with throughout the process was, was very approachable. Um, and, and very responsive. Uh, even after we moved in and, and started school, if there were things that popped up, um, even little tiny things, uh, Jane's got right on it. Yeah. Um, and, you know, uh, things happen in a timely fashion. Uh, phone calls and emails were promptly returned. Um, and that's, you know, even the simple, they seem like simple things, but they, they're really, they really mean a lot. And I think that sets, Jane's apart from a lot of other businesses that, that you might uh, work with in this town and in this region. The confidence everyone had, you know, all of our board members and everyone involved, our building committee, um, there was never a moment where we thought, hmm, yeah, did we really go with the right outfit? Um, you know, from start to finish, mm -hmm. uh, everything was handled professionally and thoroughly, and uh, we couldn't be any happier with um, what, we, what we got as an end product. 
you know, the speed at which um, this project got completed uh, was, was really impressive. Uh, groundbreaking happened uh, early December and we got our uh, certificate of occupancy um, in early August, um, so eight months. Um, and that was through a winter. It was through the 416 fire. Um, mm. We also had to contend with um, a little legal issue that popped up uh, unrelated to Jane's, but um, all those things, you, you know, were, were obstacles and, and Jane's got it done and we were able to open. All and right. That, that was huge. Okay, good deal. Christian, thank you so much. Thank you.